So we're going to press Control zero that's going to make our stage bigger. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose the text tool and we're going to choose these settings that I've got here already, uh, Cooper Black 120 point and you can just put whatever you want in here. I'm going to put wired, click here and then we're going to want to put this, so we're going to want to put this right there and that's pretty cool and then we can do a new layer and then we can choose the brush tool, go to our brush settings 15 points on this one is fine and then we'll just draw a few little lines going down and then we can click on this one and this one and press control E so it'll combine the two and you can go to this one and you can click on layer from background you see it's going to actually change it look see it's changed now and then we can do blending options and we can go to our gradient overlay and that is not actually the one I want to use so let's look at our gradient I wanted to go for something orange yeah we'll go for that I'm not going to go overboard with this section I know some people do and that is good Okay, and again we can press V and then we can press Control and zero and that's going to resize it to fit the window better. So now what we want to do is something which, this might not work, if you're following along this might not work for you, so I would suggest what you want to go to is you go in here, you go to Preferences, go to Technology Previews, make sure you have this thing here because I'm about to do 3D and you can see what it says in the description there. You want to make sure this is selected. As long as it is, that's fine. So then we can go. So then we can go to this one, and you see at the bottom of this menu, we've got some interesting options. And this is called New 3D Extrusion from Selected Layer. So let's see what happens when we click that. And you can press yes, and you can see a bunch of stuff happened. Right, we've got the timeline has appeared, and we've got our grid we've got a bunch of different stuff so what you then can do is you can see this is the you can see you can select the various different parts so say we wanted to change this to a blue color and you actually you can actually choose this one actually now I think about it now we'll go back to this one we'll do postcard and then we can combine this one and that one. Okay, 3D and render 3D layer. Alright, once it's finished rendering you want to go to rasterize 3D. 